Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Wherever you are, just know that we are saying hello. How are you guys doing? I hope that you are doing well. So are we. Today we are just hanging out. I'm going to flip the camera and show you McKenna getting around because you guys have not seen McKenna in a while. But she is. Moving and grooving. What you got in your mouth? She act like she got something in her mouth, but I know she don't. Look, mama. Say good morning. Say hey, how y'all doing? See, I don't have my hair done yet, or do I have my clothes on? Uh, uh, uh. Don't go into that. You're going to hit your head. Come here. Can of bean. Come here, fat mama. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come on. Come on, baby. Why you keep doing your tongue like that? What's on your tongue? Can I see? Can mommy see? Guess not. Excuse her hair. What is it? Now she wants me to pick her up. You're not gonna speak. Where your pass at? So yeah, my baby is a big girl now. She's moving around. Don't go out there. Can y'all see her? It feels so good out, so we start. We leave the door open for some fresh air. But um, we have to go to the library today. So I am getting some breakfast ready. And then I will probably let McKenna take a quick little nap. Because <laughs> I don't want her to miss her nap at all. And then we'll go to the library. It's <laughs> 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 getting closer. <laughs> they are out there doing maintenance work. McKenna's all in their business. Country girl. Get out them folks business. Come here. Bye bye. She is she is entertaining. <laughs> Come back, mama. Being um, they're gonna get to see it. <laughs> they're gonna get to see it. Come on back. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. Lord. This is the aftermath of breakfast. This thing in her chair. Um it's actually not that bad. I'm just gonna straighten up. I had to flip y'all. I'm just gonna straighten up while mckenna is taking her morning nap i'm going to sorry i'm out of breath because i was running down the stairs but i'm going to finish reading my book that i checked out of the library i literally only have a few more pages left so that when we go to the library i can just you know turn it in and then get a new book so that's all that's going on it's 10:48. McKenna normally goes down for a nap about 11. She'll probably take a good nap. Um, I'm going to give her until about 12. Because honestly, she's she went down before she normally does. So I'm going to give her till about 12. And then we'll head out.
Sorry if y'all hear my husband in the background. He is in the back yard talking on the phone. But I'm trying to quickly finish my book um, before McKenna wakes up so that we can go back to the library and I can turn it in. But I was reading, I'm, I'm literally like pages from being done. But this just triggered me a little bit and I wanted to read it. Um, this is a book by Auntie Tabitha Brown. I am a big Tabitha Brown fan. I am also from North Carolina. She's from North Carolina, so I support anything she does, ma'am. But um, in this chapter, she's talking about communicating with a loved one in a different way and or finding different ways to communicate with her loved ones. And she's talking about how her nephew is in prison. And so she has to find different ways to communicate with him. But something that stood out, um, she started talking about people who are in a mental prison. And I often find myself locked up mentally sometimes. And I know that I have to think differently. I need to change my thought process sometimes. And so I related to this so much and I'm going to read it for you guys. Hold on. Let me see. Truth is, there are some people who are not even incarcerated, but they are living in a mental prison. They've convinced themselves that they can't eat what they want to eat, wear, the, wear what they want to wear, go where they want to go, or live where they want to live. They've allowed the world to tell them what they can't do. And we... And if we believe that connection and compassion can help those living in their own mental prison, why wouldn't why wouldn't it be the same for those who are act in an actual physical one? That was good to me. Y'all get out of those mental prisons, okay? Y'all see that time? What I say? Twelve. And here she is. Ma'am, what's wrong? Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> uh, uh, you're heavy. We'll go to the library. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> we'll get dressed and ready, and I can do your hair. Your nose running? Ew. Put McKenna down for a nap and she is just up there playing, <laughs> playing in my face. Um, I know she's tired because when we were out, she was just sitting there like, when are we going home? Hopefully she'll fall asleep within the next few minutes. I want to take a nap too, but I'm really trying not to so I can go to bed and sleep good but I think y'all I'm gonna have to go up there with her 
soon because she just look. Like, girl, go to sleep. I know you're tired. <laughs> she out there just playing. All right, so I finally got McKenna down. She rode and she rode and she rode until finally that's how she passed out. <laughs> so... That is how she's going to stay until she decides to roll again. But um, I'm sitting here and I told y'all I do not want to go to sleep, but I'm so sleepy. And I think it's because of the weather. It's kind of gloomy and dreary, but I'm just sitting here and I wanted to show you guys the book that I got sisters and lovers it honestly has been years since i just sat and read books so i'm trying to discover as a adult what i like to read but as of right now i'm only reading from black authors and so i passed by this well i passed by this author Connie and um I kept seeing PG County and if you guys some of you guys don't know but we just moved from well not just moved before living here we were living in the DMV area and we absolutely love it and so when I saw PG County I was like PG County as in DC, PG County. And so after looking at, you know, her books and reading the bag, I found out that yes, it's PG County as in DC. So I was, I was already sold because I love the DMV area. And so I had to get it and y'all, I read the first chapter and I'm like, okay, it, it already got me by the first chapter. So I'm hoping that it will keep my attention because it is a thick book in a while since I just sat and read books. And I'm talking about a while, like when I was a kid, I used to read all the time, but I want to get back into the habit. And so I have three weeks to read this whole thing, which I can do it. It's just about finding the time with McKenna. But I think I'm going to enjoy it. Hopefully. 